Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had Jason Love smash that subscribe button like he smashed Lena the Plugs Frijoles, make sure you have him smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the newest patrons. This list just keeps growing and growing. Phoenix, Steve, Abuelita, Irma, Trailero760, Trevor, Main Jail Yard, Erasmo, Benny, Sergio, Grant, El Skid, Joe Kez, Nathan, Hobie, Cat, and G. We can't forget New Boot. If you haven't signed up to that growing list, you are definitely missing out. Make sure you hit that link in the description below. This episode right here, man, just how I started off the intro, there's no way in hell. There is absolutely no way in hell. But, 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 before I dive into that, man, I got, I thought about another Captain B story. You guys be loving some Captain B, right? I don't think there's enough material to carry on in a whole full episode, so I got to leave you with this gem. You guys have been tracking, tracking on this channel. You know who's who, <laughs> what is what, you know which managers were a buffoon, right? You know which managers were in bed with certain members of certain organizations that caused a uh, attempted uh, murder on peace officers on Bravo Yard at RJD. It was brutal, right? You know the dictator that I was working for, the warden, you know the snake chief deputy warden, and now you know some Captain B, right? Okay, guys. Oh, man. When I was a lieutenant, I was the public information officer. You guys know how that came about, right? I was chilling, doing my own thing, and I, the powers above called me to the back, right? To the front, technically, the office in the front. So as the, as the public information officer, man, your boy gets to wear a suit, a gun, a badge, be looking like a detective and stuff. But that's besides the point. I'm now part of administration, right? I, I am the administration. I'm there with them. I'm there with the captain, the managers, the captains, the associate wardens, the chief deputy warden, and the warden. Like, hey, right there. They can have a spread. Your boy's right there bringing the food like a little bitch. That's a true story. They used to make me go to the Chinese food restaurant and bring them back Chinese food. Like a little messenger boy bitch. Oh, my goodness. All right. Every Friday is the AOD administrator of the day. And I'm, again, I'm dropping gems for you guys. You guys didn't know anything about this green side. Some of you officers didn't even know about this. Every Friday, you have an AOD debrief. Meaning, you guys know what the AOD, the administrator of the day, is. I told you guys yesterday. You have to watch every video from the beginning to the end on my channel. You want to keep up. <laughs> Binge watch it. Game of Thrones. Right there is when the... Off-going AOD or the incoming AOD is briefed by all the managers, by all the captains on the facility. Hey, Bill, uh, yeah, you got the uh, Sureños acting up on my yard. Hey, okay, you, uh, hey, Bill, you have the hunger striker inmates on in ADSEG. Okay, so it's like <sighs> a pass down, a pass down of information, right? And everybody's there. Anybody who's an anybody can, is there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. You guys remember Captain C, right? The one that, the, the one with the buffoon that was almost got two cops killed because he was over familiar with a certain member. He was not the brightest. Oh my God. This dude had like the brain of like a third grader. I'm not even kidding you. I'm not, the reason Pollard loved them is because he, you know, you surround yourself with dummies, you're going to be the smartest guy in the room. Period. Well, on this particular day, Captain C hands out, he typed up a memo, a memorandum, on his own accord, and goes around the room. It's Imagine, imagine a front of a classroom, you got tables and rows and rows of tables. He starts handing out memorandums to every person in the room. Boom, he hands one in front of me. I'm looking. Captain B, right? Our boy Captain B, the wild one, looking at this. And this is what the memo said. All right. Captain C was on Bravo Yard. Bravo Yard was a level three general population, GP. 
He had every race on that yard. Blacks, whites, Mexicans, and others. GP, mind you. Echo facility, E-yard, is a level two non-designated program. That's where they, that's the whole mixing of the non-designated. If at first they fight each other, if you're a, if you're an active member of a certain gang, you go over there, you get off on the first weirdo look you see looking, and you boom, 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 then you get off that yard, right? It, per inmate politics, if you're an active general GP, you cannot be on that yard. Simple, because it's considered a 50-50 yard, as they say. It's not designated. You got people with bad paperwork on that yard. You got the Menendez brothers on that yard, maybe. Um, from time to time, telling you Donovan was so weird with it. From time to time, you would have inmates. I, I don't know what, what's going on here. Go from Echo Yard back. Maybe they would gain points. Maybe they would get a couple points and catch an RVR, possession of a weapon. Yes, they were making weapons out there. Plenty of them. And they would go back, back to Bravo Yard. Well, if you're a Southsider, a Sureño, there's no way in hell you can't. It's not possible. It ain't going to happen. You cannot have been on Echo, chilling, posted, programming, allegedly, and then may find your way back to a GP yard. It's not You're going to get your ass kicked. You're going to get stabbed. You're going to get killed. Period. That's just their rules, not our rules. If it was our rules, everybody would just be getting along, chilling, smoking weed and being on their iPad. No harm, no foul. <sighs> Captain C put in this memorandum. Hey guys, just so you know, the blacks are now following suit with the Southern Hispanics, and they are no longer going to be accepting inmates that have touched down on E-Yard and got transferred to Bravo Yard. Captain B, being Captain B, in front of the whole damn class. Now, mind you, Pollard, the warden, well, he went home early that day. So you had that chief, the snake, she's sitting up in the front of the classroom. You can tell her arrogance, her ego. I don't know how. You, she was never an officer, sergeant, lieutenant, or a captain. But she's up there thinking she's a somebody. Captain B goes, hey, man, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> now, you had a couple handful of solid managers in there. You had some good, solid, common sense managers in there. Right? Oh, fuck. I'm like this sitting down with a smirk on my face. I think we had COVID masks at the time, but you could see ear to ear. Everybody was like, and I'm looking at the corner of my eyes at these solid dudes. <laughs> They're like, they are like, oh, fuck. Hey, man, what the hell is this? Captain B tells Captain C. Now, they're both captains, but, uh, my boy Captain B had been a captain forever and could run circles around this buffoon. Oh, man, I, I couldn't. Uh, we're not going to dive into that. So Captain C goes, yeah, guys, I talked to the blood Mac rep yesterday. And everybody's like, the fuck? Do we have a blood Mac rep? Like, I seriously, like, it, I, you surround yourself with so much dumb, you literally start dumbing yourself down, right? It's like, the fuck? Like, think, I literally thought, do we have a blood Mac rep? What the fuck? Did, did something change, right? <laughs> and my boy, Captain B, doesn't skip a beat. Blood Mac rep? What the hell? We ain't be having no blood Mac rep. I'm like, oh, my boy B bringing me back, bringing me back, right? <laughs> Said... I talked to the uh, Blood Mac rep, and he told me they were no longer going to be accepting blacks back on, <laughs> back on the yard that they were going to take off on them. They were going to assault them. And Captain B, I'm telling you, these two captains in front of everybody, Captain B tell them, hey, man, we don't fucking follow inmate politics. Since when the hell do we follow inmate politics? <laughs> tell them... <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, guys, like, it could be a safety thing. My boy Captain B's on him, on him. Safety? 
Sounds to me like you've identified a fucking suspect on a conspiracy to commit battery. You need to lock their asses up. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck. I'm loving it. The solid fucking managers in there are loving it. Oh, my boy B is on his podium. My boy B is up. not just not. Boom. Boom. Fucking <laughs> corrections 101. Boom. I told you he was simple with it. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck oh man the air's crispy i'm loving it right buffoon's getting put in this place and we hey nah man there's a the captain b tells him there's a process for that nah uh, captain c i'm just saying guys nah man you're a fucking captain make a decision oh fuck you're a captain make a decision in front of everybody well, I just was thinking about the safety and the security. Uh, B, B tells him again, hey, man, like I told you, there's fucking chronos for that. Handle your business. <laughs> in my head, I'm cheering. Like, fuck yeah, about time somebody put this fool in place, right? Daddy Pollard wasn't there to fucking uh, coddle him. Now... I told you it was a snaky organization. You had the chief in the front. She's seeing what the hell is going on. Her fucking, she's like, the hell? There's too much testosterone up in here for me. Right? So she's like, hey, 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 guys. Hey, 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 guys. Right? That's my rattle. Uh, what I think Captain C is trying to do is just exchange of information. And exchange of information is good. Right, guys? They're yeah, like, ah, oh, bitch, you fucking killed it, man. You, you, she saved his ass or attempted to half-heartedly. This is fucking dumb with it. I would gotta go back to buffoonery, right? But like, yeah, 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 ma'am. Information. It's like, oh, the fuck. Who the fuck promoted this guy three times, no less? Sergeant, lieutenant, captain. Oh no, what is going on here? Oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness, right? So, my boy Captain B was absolutely wild with it. Absolutely wild with it. Man, I'm, gonna look, I'm looking at the time, and I'm wondering if I should dive into what I'm about to dive into. I might as well. I don't feel like making two videos, right? When I uh, fucking started this episode i told you smash this subscribe button like the homie jason loves smash lena the plug check this out fellas ladies i do not do not be getting into controversies at all that ain't my style that ain't my mo but you guys need to understand something the world is in our current state look around it is fucked up because too many people stayed quiet nobody spoke up everybody thought like it was gonna fix itself on his own it only got so drastically worse we are here where we're at right now but i'm done right i, I left my job so i could speak out speak out speak out speak out i'm fucking love this shit the truth my truth the truth this is a serious matter and and, and some certain people are speaking out on this and it, this is not to be this is not to get miscombobulated, twisted in any way, shape, or form. Check this out, man. You, again, this is not to dive into controversy. This is to identify a problem and to identify a solution for the masses. There's a lot of, probably a lot of young men watching this. Man, some girl told me her 11-year-old kid watches this show. I got to kick, I got to kick back on the uh, curse words, right, for the youngsters. <sighs> that guy, Adam22, right? I don't even watch him, trust me. I don't. And I don't watch the news. But as you guys know, when something comes up on my news feeds, it's like bam, 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 bam. Something pops up. Oh, okay, this is the topic of the day or whatever. Okay, this is going on. So I dive a little more into it. And I'm like, oh, hell no. Oh, no. This guy, if you don't know who he is, he's like a podcaster guy. He married a porn star. Strike one. He had a child with a porn star. Strike two. He would film himself and his spouse getting their 
thing on with other females. Stri I forgot how many strikes we're on right now. Probably strike three. He recently let her get <clears throat> boned down by an individual called Jason Love, right? Big old seven foot one. It said, somebody said seven foot one, brother. Oh, man. I'm not kidding you, right? I'm not freaking kidding you. Strike five. Everybody's out. Everybody's lost the game, right? Well, one homie won. One homie's winning. Straight winning. Straight winning. Rightfully so. Check this out, man. And, and, and pfft, I've been on this YouTube for like seven months. My wife would always be, right, I'm happily married as can be. You see my smile from ear to ear every morning. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> my damn dog passed away two days ago, man. I used to make so many jokes about kicking the poor little boy. and never did put hands on him, right? Oh, my goodness. So, she would always tell me, why don't you talk about your, why don't you talk about how you are as a husband? Why don't you talk about how you, relationship? I'm like, holy fuck. There you go. There you go trying to get involved in what I'm doing again, right? There you go trying to add your two cents. As my friend that works at RJD, Lieutenant type, California, uh, Calipat type, ISU type would say, Hey, women, females, they like to put their twist on things. Like, there's my wife trying to put her twist on my podcast, right? My channel. Okay, guys, she, this is what she wanted. <laughs> wanted me to talk about relationships. I never did, right? Because I'm not good at relationships. I'm not good at re That ain't my fucking style. Right? I didn't write a book on relationships. <laughs> but if it's one thing, I know it's females. Okay. Through my research. Okay, I would consider myself an old soul. You guys know what an old soul is. Somebody that's like in the classics, in the classic time frames, right? You got the good music, you got the milkshake, you got the old, you know, the good times. Let the good times roll as they used to say in the old days. I would consider myself an alpha male, right? Period. You got your alphas, you got your betas, you got, there's another one too. They're more of a lone wolf. <sighs> oh my goodness. I was a late bloomer. I was a late bloomer, man. I had long hair in high school. The skater be smoking that weed, the marijuana cigarettes. Um, <clears throat> boy wasn't getting too much action. Ain't not too much action. When I joined the army... Oh my God, man. It was on and cracking, right? It was on and cracking. It's on and cracking, man. I got a daughter, right? So I got to be respectful. I got to be thoughtful. I got to be forthcoming. I got to be the whole picture, right? I just can't come up here blabbling nonsense. <clears throat> I've done my research. I've done my res research through and through. I've been with a multitude of females and all right, I'm not trying to offend nobody, but they're all crazy. They're all crazy for sure. I don't give a fuck, right? It's just some level of degree. I don't care, period, right? And I know this because girls don't even like girls, right? You're gonna hear me say a lot of truths. You're gonna hear me say a lot of things that you're gonna agree with. I have a younger sister. She'd always be arguing with her cousins and her friends, and just back and forth. And it's catty. We can agree that girls are catty, period, 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 period. I don't care. The girls are catty with each other. Be fighting over makeup, dresses, boys. This is a disaster. Okay, so <clears throat> all girls are crazy. All girls are catty. The women, the females I was messing with when I in my younger years. We're not wife material in the definition of wife material and i knew this man i'm not fucking dumb i'm not dumb like yeah i was abusing a lot of substances alcohol drugs but and having a good time but i'm not i'm not oblivious to the world i see who's who what's what like if i meet you the first night and it's on and cracking like there's just no way that's just like 
common that's it, it, that that problem just solved 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 itself right with that being said i told you i'm an old soul i also believe in like like us as cavemen right that we're still the mindset we still have that primal mindset I believe in the animal kingdom. You'd be looking at the lions. You'd be looking at the king of the jungle, the alphas. You'd be seeing how the female lions, <clears throat> how they carry themselves, right? The, you see the the pride of lions. They're always searching for that, that ooh, that motherfucker that has a big old mame, right? That that Jason Love type of individual to, us, to, to protect the pack, to protect the pride, to provide, right? Even though I think it's the female lions that hunt, do the hunting. But you know what I mean. Oh my goodness, man. I would have never married any of the girls that I was with prior to my wife. Period. Period. I knew this, right? I might even be giving up some giving some game to the girls that like, why can't I find a man? Why can't I find a man? All guys are dogs. Well, yes and no. Yes and no. But <clears throat> there's no way. One time I got really, really drunk on, on tequila and I almost got married. I would have eventually done something to reverse it when I sobered up in the morning, but not going to happen. Number two, getting a man getting a female pregnant. Oh, my lucky stars. I think my lucky stars. I never got nobody pregnant as far as I know of. Prior to getting my wife pregnant. Oh, I would be fucking screwed right now. Monetarily, I would be screwed. Uh, my life would be impacted. I would have baby mama drama. I would have a, a little... Oh, no. Right. You're, a lot of... Some was by design. Some was by chance. Right? A, a lot of chances that I took. Risk. Right? Playing Russian roulette over here. There was a time when I was young that I used to be jealous, jealous you would call it, jealous, crazy, you know, I came back from Iraq with PTSD like a mother, like a you know what I mean? So, the girls that I was messing with were also messing with other guys. And you heard what I just said, the girls that I was messing with, so... I was seeing other girls. Those girls were seeing other guys. Kind of, we knew it, man. It's like, whatever. You can play dumb all you want. You can play dumb or you cannot. <clears throat> Did my feelings get involved in certain situations? Yeah, absolutely, man. I'm a, I was young. I was dumb. I was a guy. Well, I still am a guy. Even though it's No way, man. No way. So this is the fucking knowledge. The term nice guys finish last. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Do girls like assholes? Absolutely. 100%. Right. This is through my research. I don't care. The more that, the more that I drank, the more that I did drugs, the more that I wilded it out, right? The girls were loving it. They were absolutely loving it, right? And I'm like, holy. So I would just get more turned up. And more turned up, more turned up. I was like, woo, woo. That's, at that time frame is when I met my wife. She knew who the fuck I was. She knew what I was about, right? She met me then. She met me then. And to me, she was different right off the bat. Different right off the bat, how do you ask? Well, she wasn't like the rest of them. Well, one time we went to Mexicali. And I told myself in my drunken head, I'm going to marry this one. I'm going to marry this one. We had like a month in of dating or something shit. I remember telling myself that. Yep. Well, you know, and lo and behold, I eventually ended up marrying her. <clears throat> Women try to assert their dominance over men. N naturally, whatever, biologically. I don't know how the fuck you want to paint this picture. They will give you a series of oh shit tests. They want to see how you're going to react. 
right? If you fold like a little bitch, if you crumble like a little bitch, they're going to be like, oh, I got this fool. Like I, they, to me, they're always trying to move on to the next alpha, right? Oh, Hector, you can't say that. That's not true. I'm happily married with my beta. Are you? Are you? Really? Be honest here. My little beta fish. Anyways. When I got sober, I became a different person. More nicer, more kicked back. <clears throat> my wife kind of took advantage of that. There's been plenty of times where my wife has taken advantage of my kindness. Right? And it just sets me back. Oh, hell no. It just sets me back. It sets me back. When I left the California Department of Corrections, right, I resigned. Oh, I was making bank. I was a lieutenant. The breadwinner, as they say. My wife works too. Don't get it twisted. But uh, the majority of the income was coming in through, through my revenue, my occupation. My wife and her head, like I said, man, we're fucking primal. We're primal. Probably thought more than likely, hey, this dude can't take care of us anymore i'm telling keeping it real with you guys especially right now and for you youngsters pay attention oh this dude can't take care of us anymore i saw how she acted toward me she 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 she, she, she flipped the script right she changed the script up on me she see a she sees a, a homie down and out well i'm not a homie but you know what i mean she sees a dude out down and out ain't making that much money like i used to <laughs> Tries to assert her dominance over me. Oh, fuck no, cuzzo. Hell no. Right? I don't know who the fuck you think I am. Right? That, <sighs> I saw that. I, I experienced that, right? There was a, if you go back to my videos, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling, I said, I'm going through it right now, guys. I'm going through it. A lot of you guys tapped in and said, uh, hey, I hope everything turns out right. I hope, you guys are remembering now when I said I'm fucking going through it. That was my wife attempting to assert her dominance over me. I was like, fuck this. I don't give a fuck. I'll leave. I said, I told her it was harder for me to leave the fucking prison than it would be harder for me to leave you. Trust me on that. Trust me. Right. I said, I've already identified a fucking toxic environment. I'm, I said, I'm starting to identify another one. Boom. Period. Mic drop. Right. That's how... I, I didn't want it to get this way, right? I would, like I said, I would prefer to kick back. No matter what, even in the prison, I would prefer to kick, kick back. But if you guys want to turn stuff up, let's turn it all the way up, right? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> you guys are tracking. I know you guys are tracking. <sighs> Starts with their bullshit, right? Like, it, 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 it went off. Oh, fuck, man. She sees me inferior. She sees me less than. She sees me like I can't provide. Like, I once used to be that lion for the household. And now she thinks in her mind that because I walked away from my career and I'm kind of like, <laughs> I'm kind of um, bumming it right now in a way. I was hustling. I was grinding. She couldn't. It, it was, it, trust me, it didn't hit, she didn't see it yet. She kind of doubted me. Strike one. So your boy had to turn it up. Right. I had to remind her. I had to remind her. And all oh, Hector, that sounds like a dick. You're objecting women. Am I? I didn't cause any of this. I was just doing, I left my job to provide, to, to do better for my family. Person takes advantage of my situation. Oh, hell no. So, of course, you know, Hector being Hector, I tell her straight up, I think you forgot who the fuck I am. Period. Again, this is why I don't offer, I don't offer, I don't offer relationship advices. I'm not saying it's the best advice. I'm just saying shit works for fucking me and from what I've seen. I said, I think you forgot who the fuck I am. I said, you know who I am. Nothing fucking changed. I said, if, if I became nice, if I became, that's because, that's because I wanted the best for this family. Well, I'm doing this. <sighs> 
Again, I have a daughter, man. After some bumps in the roads. <laughs> right after some reassurance, right? Some revenue starts coming in from what I'm doing now. It's like, oh, the big picture, right? Oh, I see it, Hector. Fuck, I forgot, right? I forgot. Yeah, you forgot. People forget sometimes, right? It's people forget. Whether you want to set reminders, that's on you guys. You guys are the audience. I don't know. You do whatever you want. <clears throat> And I say this because look what Adam 22 did, man. He, f he did everything the wrong way. This dude's, I, I could care less about him at all. That's irrelevant. What's relevant is the message that is putting out to the younger generation, the younger males, the younger females. F no, somebody has to say the truth. You don't do that, right? You don't do that. I'm not saying not to marry a porn star. That's not what I'm saying. It's just not beneficial. Where do you see that? Where do you see the W? Right? Where do you see the win in that? I'm not saying females shouldn't be porn stars. But come on, man. You pick a certain lifestyle. You come on. You can be like freaking uh, War Machine. That UFC fighter that beat the dog out of you. Uh, what's her That other porn star. It's just, man, you got Tito Ortiz and Janet Jameson. You just, oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyways, that was strike one. Strike two is just don't get married. Right? If you're going to do that, don't get married. Number two, to think that, to think that you're a man, you're going to be having threesomes and multiple women in bed with your wife that's come on man as a guy do we see that and we're like yeah good for him good for him you're, you're killing it you're killing it right but that is not a healthy relationship man oh my god i don't care i don't care how attractive those females are i don't care how many you get in bed at one time with you that's not you're not gonna get the w right there well you're gonna get the w then in there Right, but not long term. Not gonna happen. What you're trying to do is again burning candles on both ends. Fucking not gonna happen. <sighs> Introducing a child into this world. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You know, I know a lot of people, trust me, I know a lot of people that should not should not be introducing children into this world. Because now you just fucked it all up for them. Now they're going to have to find their way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now this is, they're all bad. They're all equally bad. And then, as a husband, you let another man, ooh, you let another man go to bed with your wife. Fuck out of here, man. Get the, f the everything, it, it doesn't make sense. That's like 2 plus 2 equals 183, 2 plus 2 equals pumpkin pie, right? 2 plus, 2 plus 2 equals Toyota. Like, none of this is computing. But if you're a young kid, you're watching a young girl. You're, if you're a young boy, you're probably thinking like, oh, yeah, that's cool. That's what's up. My boy has no problem with nothing, letting another man sleep with his wife. Wrong. F oh, no. I, I know guys in prison. I know. I was a, I was a fucking CO. I know guys in prison that killed the, 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 the Sancho, killed the Sancho. And you guys should watch the movie Shawshank Redemption. It's my number one favorite movie, Shawshank Redemption. Oh, no, no, I take it back. Fast Times at Ridgemont High is my number one movie. Shawshank Redemption is like a close two. It's, it's two. It goes on to be training day. You guys want to know. Uh. Sicario somehow fucking made it up there. And it's like a man. <clears throat> if you're a female, I'm telling you because these young kids, I see them at Starbucks, they're baristas, they go on to become correction officers, they get slapped in the face and Charlie Yard by the inmates. It's, it's just this world has gone out of control. And it's because guys like me and people like us haven't spoken out to the masses. Right? And I'm an old timer. I'm fucking 38, about to be 39. This all this is sat new to me. 
like the social media, tech savvy. I'm an old timer, man. But I have some knowledge and some fucking experience under my belt. Let me tell you. <sighs> okay. The dude done fucked up every which way possible, right? I'm not saying... Well, what I am saying is, yeah, don't put your hands on a female. For sure, don't put your hands on a female. And I'm a father of a daughter. Oh, oh my God. I, I, don't, I think you guys realize by now, I, have no, I feel like I have nothing to lose at all, right? That's kind of how I live my life, wild with it, like Captain B. But, <clears throat> man, if you got teenage sons, teenage daughters, have them watch that part, man. Like, hey, what the fuck? What are we doing here, man? No, absolutely not, man. You're, you're going against everything. Everything, right? If that's what you're going to do, if that's what you're going to do, have fun, party, let other people, swingers, there's a word for that. It's called swingers and all kinds of other weird stuff. Then, then do it, right? But like, don't bring children into it. Don't get married. Just, hey, man, have your fun. That, that, I think that's where it gets twisted. Right? I think that's where it gets twisted, man. This video went on kind of long. Somebody said they wanted me to do longer videos. With that, the message for the day is... going to be a lot of messages. Don't shit where you eat, period. Um, sometimes you might have to turn it up and remind people. That's number two. Number three is... Captain B was hilarious. Right? As an individual and as a captain. Um, number four is... Keep pushing forward, man. Every fucking day we bring it. Peace.